she's got something new here and she's really, really good. They're really, really good. They, they're hiring good artists. They're just coming up with their ideas. And that's something that an artist, they might be good at drawing. They went to school for 10 years of drawing or 20 years, but, but, they, didn't, but they might not have the ideas. You know what I'm saying? These guys sit around and have ideas all day. So, yeah. Yeah, so, so I mean. The one that we sent you of the, the guy in the chair. The desk, yeah. Um, that, my husband just basically told somebody, this is the picture that I have. Did it come out the way he uh, wanted it? Did it come out the way right. he wanted it? Right. And then they went ahead and threw it up. Puppy. My dog's barking at a shadow on the wall. Yeah. Um, they went and drew it up and we said, oh yeah, that's what we want or no, that's not what we yeah. want. We like it. We go ahead and make sure that we own the picture just because they drew it. You know, we, it's our idea. We still want to own Of course. Image. Right, right. So you have to pay them. So, you pay them. Right. So we exactly and it's done. get and the it's, license. Yep. Right. Get the license, everything. <laughs> Yeah. It's done. Yeah. We put it out. Well, the stuff um, you the, you guys are really, I mean. Our stuff isn't, it isn't for everyone, but that's why I say I, I think it will resonate with almost every human. Because yeah. Because at some point we go through a darker side of life. Yeah. And, you well, know, it's not. I, see, I used to. I, so, no, I'm, I'm with you, Adrian. And what she's saying is, is that this, to me, okay. She's trying to justify, like, saying, like, look. This is like, this, to a lot of people, this would be a scary image. By the yes, way, yes. I, I absolutely love this one. This is the one I'm showing right here. And so yep. this, this would be kind of scary. And so she's suggesting that this would be like a dark period in someone's life. Yes, yes and no. But, but the longer you spend time with death and with these dark, dark people that we're so scared of, the more you realize that, that, that they're not to be afraid of. They're more... They're, they're, you are you're, they're your Absolutely. friends. They're scary. And you know who they scare? They scare people who have lived a really shitty life. Because when you yeah. live a shitty life, you don't want to die. Because you know yeah. you got, you, you know. And so those people really are clinging on to life. People who live good life, they're heroes. They're the ones who say, I will go out there. And they put themselves in danger. They don't care. I mean, obviously, they're not trying to commit suicide. They'll do something yeah. if it makes yeah. sense. But they're not going to let themselves stop because, oh, I might die. Because first of all, that's what the difference between, and so with everybody else who, who lives, a, lives a short life or, or like a short-sighted life is afraid to die, those people become cowards throughout life. And, right. and, and so when, when, what I'm trying to say is, and what she's trying to say is that, that she's trying to say, hey, don't be afraid of this. Like, in fact, if you get to know him, he's really funny. <laughs> Death is really... You could not say, I could not have said it better, Rich. That is exactly what our mission is. You said it perfect. Cool, I'm glad you're here. Well, then maybe maybe death, which is a real entity, brought us together. And for those of you who don't think it's real, guess what? It's coming. It's real. Oh, yeah. <laughs> death okay, is very absolutely. real. And, I, and like you said the other day about emotions, I listen to you a lot talking about emotions. Um, I have similar, similar tendencies like you to act up and stuff like that. And I have learned that if you can name your emotions, if you, if you can give them context, you'll be less afraid of them when they show up. And that's kind of what our t-shirt images represent. Right. So, you know, <laughs> well, and also I thought about this the other day. You sit in that chair all the time. I do. If you look at the way you sit in that chair and the way this guy sitting in the t-shirt on the chair, that's you. Yeah, I know. I kind of feel it. You. Thanks, man. I'll take that. Huge, that that is that is that would be the cool. I would be nothing. That'd be an honor. That would be an honor. It's you, it's you sitting in the chair, facing your demons every day in front of millions of people. Millions. It is. To me, it's millions. No, it is. No, mean, it is millions. It is millions now. It speaks volumes. We are in the millions. And it shows that you are on top of your world you know you're holding your world in your hands your family your future everything you know it's it's, a, it's absolutely amazing and my husband has seen a change in me since i've been talking with you guys and listening to you guys and stuff he's like oh my god he's like you're not acting crazy what's wrong with you i'm like no i learned i need to calm this down a little or i need to speak in a different tone 